Hey, what's up guys? It's Jagman5000 here and I'm going to be bringing you a little tutorial today on how to use Essentials Group Manager. As now as many of most of you, or sorry, as most of you have now discovered, now that people have updated their plugins for 1.2 or 1.2.3, sorry, or R6, whatever you want to call it for that build, most people have been starting to remove permissions support. So not permissions as in group manager, but permissions as in permissions that plugin called permissions because it has went inactive a long long time ago not really many people use it group manager is being regularly updated it's a lot better in functioning so people are just putting in group manager support only so I'm gonna teach you how to use group manager today and I actually think it's a much better plugin it's a lot easier to use and also it puts in a lot more functions for you to make it easier to edit your configuration change permissions around for users and stuff because as in this one there's actually a global groups that does work so say you have multiple worlds you have maybe a creative world and a regular world and a pvp world i don't know maybe 10 different worlds you can set them all with the exact same permissions rather than going and assigning all those permissions all over again <laughs> if you understand what I mean but I'll, I'll show you what I mean it might be a bit confusing now I'm telling you in words but I'll show you anyways you're gonna go to this essentials page right here I'll link you to this in the description you're gonna scroll down group manager download and it'll take you here and they'll be like oh my god and then you save it you open it do whatever and you will get like a dot zip or something so you go and extract that and you go and stick the don't ask me what it's called balls my world I was bored and yeah so you get these two dot jars group bridge and group manager this is like my just my little time uh, test server that I run on my computer I get mine hosted online now if you guys actually do want to host your servers online I can set you up with my company for nice and cheap just give me a shout like put in the comments or something that you want to host your server online and I'll give you some prices that they give me and I'll set you up anyways back to this you're gonna get these two files and you're gonna be like oh my god there's no config well because you have to start and then it'll generate the default configuration files once this actually loads and it'll say done it'll say group manager info bucket permissions updated you get no errors if you're doing it right yes good everyone's happy back to plugins you get this folder here and let's just start off with the global groups right here I'm gonna open this up. The really good thing is, is most of it's already kind of set up really basic for you. So there is, or there are global groups set up here. So I'm just gonna explain to you what they mean. This means that this is a global group. So if you give someone this group inheritance, say essentials underscore default, if you give them that inheritance, they will get essentials.help, essentials.help op, all those nodes will pretty much go. So it's equivalent to like the slash help command, help op command, list, message of the day, rules, spawn, notify. So you're going to get all those commands without actually having to go and put them out in each and every single world that you have. Now, if you for say don't want some of these, or sorry, no, you not not want some of these, but you want to create your own global group, that's really really easy to do so you're just gonna scroll down to the bottom I don't really want to remove any of these you can if you want also I recommend using notepad plus plus for this also it's really easy to edit YML with because this is a YML file and if you want to be able to use tabs you cannot use any other program and use tabs otherwise you'll be fucked over in YML it'll give you errors you have to restart the entire thing instead if you want to use tabs notepad plus plus you're gonna go to settings preferences language menu slash tab settings tab size 4, click replace by space, and then close. And also, I'm just going to show you real quick, if I do take that off, oh my god, close it, right, it'll show me a red line there, because I'm using tabs and YML, and it's going like, oh my god, what the fuck are you doing? So it's telling you to go fuck yourself in the balls, by because you're using freaking tabs. Now, it's just giving me the red line there because I haven't typed anything yet, I think. No, what am I doing? Just don't save any of this. No, go back. Okay. Back to what I was doing. Anyways, I'm going to go and tab down. You need to type a G. Or sorry, you need to be two spaces out. One, two. Type in a G, colon, 
and then what you want your group name to be called. So I want it to be called all or butt munches. And then you're gonna go two spaces out again. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot something. You need to put the colon. And two more spaces out, permissions, and then down. And then you're gonna do the hyphen, and the regular way you would insert permissions. So I'm gonna say essentials.help, and maybe essential. Oh my god. Dot spawn. That's the only permissions I want this group to have because I'm just that nice. And I'm gonna go and save that, and then they're gonna get those permissions. Now, I'm gonna go back here and we're gonna go to world and we're gonna go to my main world balls. And we're gonna go to the groups and look here. So right now as you can see their inheritance of the groups is essentials underscore default and bucket underscore default. So those ones listed in grr in here. So the to call it the Essentials under default in the builder, they inherit all of these permissions. Now, if you first say don't want them to go and inherit all that, say no, I want them to inherit only my butt munches one and butt munches, then they will only inherit that. And then you can put in custom permissions here and first say maybe, I don't know, essentials dot kill, so they're allowed to kill other players not be stupid dot suicide okay and then here for your builders you want them to be able to have these groups in here we also want them to have the exact same ones as the last one you can still use it the exact same as permissions by going uh what should I call it but default in there so it will inherit the stuff from default so whatever permissions or inheritance even this one has it will inherit that if you get what I mean and the default up here I'm just gonna kind of explain how this works so if it says default true that means when they first join the server this is what group they will be put into so you want to make sure you only put one to true otherwise it will glitch and something will get fucked up and you'll probably get an error because it's gonna be like your server is gonna be thinking well how will I put this person into two different groups at once well you can't so you need to make sure you only set one to true you put in your custom permissions you maybe want for that class so you only give them that permission and the inheritance of the global group you can give them a custom prefix and I'm gonna be doing it so that's like a color code which you can search up yourself I can't remember what it is and I'm gonna do butt munch that will be your prefix and you need to say whether they can build or not so whether they can destroy or place blocks I want my butt munches to be a place block so I'm gonna send that to true if I can spell it right and you can put suffix and hi. That will be my suffix. And you can also change the name of the group. So I'm going to change my group name to butt munches. Because when you add someone to the group, this is the group you're going to be now adding them to. You're going to be adding them to butt munches. And there we go. So now we have our butt munches in my little group. And so we've created my butt munches group in here. So yeah, they have that. They get these permissions. So these little noobs get these permissions as well as this custom command of suicide or sorry, which I didn't feel like putting my global groups, which I will show you in a second why I might not want to do that. Now, I'm just going to quickly go back to the config.yml, which is good or is sorry, important for world sharing. And this means that these worlds will share the same permissions. This is where managing groups all comes right into. So I want all of my worlds to have the exact same permissions. So I need to change this to balls. And then... What am I doing? And... Yes, and I want balls underscore nether to be taking this and balls underscore the end so you need to rename it whatever your world will be so any so these will both inherit from balls because they are mirrored and hold on save that and you know where it says users and groups this is if you want to inherit the same 
users. So if the user, you want them to stay within the same group automatically. So say you promote them to an admin in your regular world. If they go into the nether, they will still be an admin because they are sharing that custom user group than the first one. If you don't want them to be still classified as an admin in there, then you will remove the users and they will be set to default. You can set your own different admins in the nether if you for say wanted to do that, which wouldn't make sense to me, but if you say had other worlds and you wanted to be an admin in one world and maybe not another, I don't know. And But you keep the groups in there, that will mean that the group permissions will stay the same. You take that out, that means you can have different group permissions, so maybe if you wanted to let people, uh, what, what can I think of for the permission? Uh, I can't think of something, let me think. Uh, maybe like, I don't know. I, I don't know, maybe you just didn't want some people to have certain, oh, maybe like chest locking for instance. Maybe you didn't want people to have chest locking in your PvP world, but yes, in your survival, then you wouldn't inherit the same groups, so you can change that around in there. And same with here, it's exactly how that works, and I'm going to exit this now. And if I restart my server right here, it should merge them together, so I won't, I only have like the one folder called balls and worlds no that didn't work why the fuck not did it not work uh okay i'm not sure wait no you might have to delete them yourself i'm actually getting confused on how i'm supposed to be doing this now the world one will always just generate don't ask me why because i don't actually know why and if you delete those I don't think it automatically removes it. Sorry, I forgot about that. It just reads off the same one. So it shouldn't regenerate those if we're doing it properly. Because it's not reading off those, but it just doesn't delete them. Yeah, and there we go. Yeah, so it's not reading off those anymore. It doesn't need to regenerate them. That's how you know you've done it properly. It just doesn't automatically delete them because there's no need for that. And I'm going to empty these out. I don't care. Now back to this. Now if you for say wanted to go back to my config and I wanted the end to not I want different permissions in the end and different groups and shit then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna reload this entire plugin right now if it ever works loaded good back and worlds and the end will now show up now remember I was talking about global groups before well, for say, maybe I didn't want people to be able to commit suicide in this world. Because remember, I've like, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to change it to the exact same one I had as the other one. And I'm going to do G, um, butt munches. Yeah, butt munches. And no, you can't use that. No, well, it's already minus minus, but there's no point. I don't know why they put that in there. Minus minus will remove, it'll give you a negative permission. Anyways, so maybe I don't want them to be able to use the suicide command in this world. Or no, no, I'm not, not the suicide command. Remember the other command I put in the other one? What was it? What was it? Uh, yeah, it was the suicide command. What other commands I put in the other one? I put in help and spawn, yes, so they can use help and spawn, but I want them to be be able to use suicide, so that's why it's a custom one just for this world and anything else shared with it. Global groups is for any group at all in any world. So if I put suicide in here, I'd have to go and do a whole bunch of negative nodes in here. So if I first say put in all of these in here. Let me go and if I gave them builder, right? No, no, I'm not gonna do that. Actually, okay, I'm gonna sh quickly show you this. If I first say I did this, right, and I gave them all these commands, I just wanted to take out these commands and give it to my butt munches group, then I would have to go and 
put a whole bunch of negative nodes in here for minus minus in there and it would just make really messy config so instead you would just give that world the custom permission and I'm just gonna put this back in here because that's what you need to do if you have an empty little space in there that you don't want to use so there's no extra custom permissions you need to put in there and you know I think that's pretty much it all I really have to about explain for this I don't really care I'm not even gonna use this anymore I'm gonna delete this after um, but you know if you have any other questions comments things not working shits going down then feel free to stick in the comments or send me a PM I should usually respond to your comments pretty fast I'm good about that and yeah hope this tutorial really helped you and bye